everyone. Welcome to the next video in our series, which is our visit to Pompeii and then on to Sorrento. We did this trip leaving Rome very early at about 7am, where we walked our way to Roma Termini Station, caught the regional fast train to Napoli. Then for about $4 each, we caught the local Napoli train to Pompeii, which was about a 40 minute train ride. Um, then we began our day in Pompeii and there's a lot of editing as we're very grumpy and moody by this time in our trip as our hotel was very bad in Rome. Um, but hopefully we'll give you an honest review on Pompeii and then Sorrento. Now the next audio you'll get a very clear idea of how exhausted and tired and over Pompeii we were after being there for about 45 minutes. Seven hours into our train. <sighs> if we break it down, it's only really six because it takes an hour to get back. Then the hour, you know. And we throw an hour into lunch as well. Really, we've only got, really got three hours. Mm. Now, tickets to Pompeii weren't exactly cheap. They were about 19 euros each for entry onto the site. Um, but it was a very hot day when we went as it was in September, so it was about 32 degrees with absolutely no wind. So it was a pretty agonizing time. And we were waiting already in queue for over an hour just to get the tickets because it was that busy. And the crowds didn't help. No, I was just hitting the sign. Oh my god. Look at all those people. Oh, there's only any water slides here. I was actually wrong, these are not stables, this is the Stabian Baths. So these baths are the oldest baths in Pompeii and they have a section which is separate for men and women and the open area that we were just walking through where I thought was stables was actually an exercise yard um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, it was interesting inside, I loved all the tiling detail, um, and it was actually quite cool inside. Not like awesome cool, but cold cool. Um, but yeah, definitely worth a visit if you do go to Pompeii. Overall, I am very glad that we did make our way down to Pompeii um, for a day trip from Rome, even if we were being miserable sods. It was a very hot day, 
we couldn't help that. It was in September and there were huge crowds. So if you are planning to go to Pompeii, probably try and plan around that if possible. Um, again, you got to factor in price on how to get there um, and also plan your time a bit better because we were only there for a couple of hours before we decided to try our luck and head to Sorrento for the rest of the afternoon before our 7 or 8 p.m. train from Napoli back to Rome because listening to all other guides, they're all like, yeah, you need, you know, seven hours to do Pompeii. I severely overcompensated that and hence why we went down to Sorrento. But I wouldn't change that for the world because Sorrento was actually probably one of the best things about Italy that we went and visited. So each their own, wear comfortable shoes, pack water. Um, they do sell frozen water at the front, which was very helpful. Sorrento far exceeded any expectations of what we had when we were heading there, especially after what we experienced in Florence, Rome, and then Napoli and Pompeii. Sorrento was like a whole other country. It was beautiful. There was so much to see. The streets were super clean. Um, everyone we came across seemed nice. The food was great and the views. Oh, wait until you see the views that we came across when we went to Sorrento. We are actually spewing now. We didn't actually head further down um, the Amalfi Coast because it seemed the further south we were heading, the better Italy got. It was just unbelievable. And you will see the most famous creature in the world about to come up. It was actually quite hilarious. What? Oh my gosh, look at that statue. Yeah, for two euro we can get the lift down. <laughs> That's probably worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Lift to the beaches. Oh. Oh.
That looks so nice. Look at it frozen. We're like pay me now in chips. Oh, what if she might have seagulls, surely? There's photographs of seagulls. <laughs> The most famous seagull in the world. Give it a just walk on this tent and get harassed. I waited so long for this spot. Now, as you can probably already tell, we were easily entertained for at least an hour sitting there watching this seagull get hammered with photos. This thing did not fly off anyone, even people trying to touch it. It was hilarious. So, in total, our highlight for the day was definitely Sorrento. Pompeii was cool, but Sorrento was just next level. Uh, if you do travel to Italy, please head down to the Amalfi Coast. Like, we didn't really get down there, but if that was what it was like, you're missing out if you don't go. Uh, food was reasonably priced, everyone was nice, and it was so unbelievably clean. Um, I cannot recommend Sorrento enough. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. <laughs> that was already in your seat. Oh, these seats are so comfy. We've got double windows here, so we've got this, we've got this full section to myself for sure. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I prefer the other ones though, the Italia ones. Why? We're just locking that. Just more room. This thing's really good. Boy. Oh, it's got a little screen there. It's broken. Hey, I was looking at that. How long is it to get to an hour and ten? Florence. Oh, Florence. So you can bring it closer to you.